Masuk, what's up, chat? Welcome back. Good to see you all here for a game known as Part of This Frontier. Ah, uh, good to see you all back on a beautiful Sunday morning. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome, welcome. Ah, uh, yeah. It's time to get back in the frontier. Let's load in and uh, keep on going. Lots of you joining now as we start our live stream for today. I don't even know how far we're into this. What ten? We started last Thursday, question mark, on this beautiful city, so we're probably around, around somewhere around 10 days in, I don't know, 9 or 10, 11, somewhere between there. And uh, it's been going good. Been having a lot of fun in this game. You guys have too, so don't forget to subscribe if you're just jumping in. Don't forget to smash that like button to support Raptoria. And welcome to all the uh, awesome members, viewers, subscribers. Wow, I don't even see a single non-member in the chat. Everybody here. Oh, there we are. What's up, RBM? Good to see you. Welcome aboard. So many people watching all the time. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you're all having you, uh, yourself a good weekend. Busy times. Busy times. And a warm summer. Mm. Got to do some grilling soon. Oh, again. Ah, there we are. Oh, oh, that's right. We're post-raid. We had a, a big O raid come in. They destroyed a couple fences and some minor stuff, but, you know, it's all good. All right, let's get some repairs done. Oh, no, they destroyed a fence. How are we going to recover? A couple of watchtowers. Oh, there's big money right now. Uh, they just they stole 51 smoked fish and 85 smoked meat. Wow. They came in to literally steal, like, beef jerky. And there's big money. Looks like we're going to trade a few things with them, but not too much. All right. Boom and boom. All right, repairs should be taken care of. We're good. And now we play the waiting game. All right, population is going up close to 300. We built an extendo neighborhood down here, too. And an extendo uh, graveyard, as this one's almost full. 136 out of 144. Hey, what's up, MF80 Beats? Good to see you. It's a beautiful city, yeah. I, honestly, I think every city that we've built gets a little bit beautiful, more beautiful, by some sort of something that I come up with in the previous build and then we just keep taking those ideas. I think it's like that for all the people who make uh, cities and city skylines. Or all the people who played Planet Coaster. You know, everybody started out not knowing what they were doing or how the game would play, and then eventually, especially in those games, mods came along and helped to make those, gave everybody more tools to make things better. But in this game, by default, is beautiful, so I'd say 80% of it is probably the game. And then 100% else is me. So 180% beautiful. So I appreciate that. Yeah, we built this city on rock and roll. Or at least a rock. Big old mountain over here that we kind of flattened out, and an even bigger one over there, Mount Doom. Boom, boom. Build multiple walls for multiple layers of protection. Yeah, <clears throat> that's certainly feasible. I don't know. I, I see the devs and many people build where they wall sections of the city with big defensive walls and. I want to build, like, one giant city wall, but I want there to be... <clears throat> I hope when the enemy gets more things like catapults 
and trebuchets. I hope we could build bigger walls. Like, it would be really neat if there was some sort of way where we could upgrade a wall to be... Because these are pretty thin. But a tile in this game is like this large. So that little red s section there, that could definitely be filled up with an entire, like, much larger wall. I think they got plans for that. They're, they've got to be thinking of something, like where you can put guards on the wall and build a bigger gate, that kind of thing. Something like that. This game is the best. Indeed it is. Whoa, what, what's up with all the nice vibes, chat? Thank you very much. All the vibes. A villager has been cured. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Yeah, higher tier walls, yeah. Well, this is like the tier three walls. Actually, when do walls unlock? Oh yeah, this is the tier 3, the fortified wall. So they could do some sort of bulwark or something. Some sort of a high quality wall. Actually, wait a minute. This game seems a little laggy now. Hold on. Let me No, damn it, Chief Fox. You're not here until later today. There we go. Mm. You know, it seems to run smoother on I don't know, OB I think OBS dropped some frames regardless with this game, but it's pretty smooth, I'll be honest. It, it used to be a lot more, um, a lot more, uh, stuttery when you would scroll. Actually, the best way to scroll, I think, is right-clicking. It just looks better. But we're still getting about 40 frames around there, based on where we look in the city. 35 now. All right, that's good. Game optimization seems to have improved a lot with this update. I think so. And the developers, last Thursday when we, um, the week before, when we were watching their live stream, they confirmed that literally they hired somebody to just full-time work on, like, trying to optimize everything in the game. Like, everything in the game from, you know, character movement to panning the camera to, I don't know, sound effects that play could possibly be hurting the game's optimization. So they're working on that constantly. That's pretty cool that they got one person on, like, frame rate control, which is pretty cool. Oh, look at the trees. Purdy. Oh yeah, we're still moving things around and organizing as well. I think we're going to just try to wait a little bit for a higher population. I cut back a lot on the farming, and we went more towards bread. Luckily, making bread has made us a ton of extra food and flour. But we still need veggies and greens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait for horses either. Now, we know that horses are going to work like how um, cows work, where, you know, Anders play, Plains Rider will likely come in and trade those as well. But I hope we get a whole new trader. I would love to see a whole new reference to Grim Dawn or just some other character and be really cool to have somebody else who has different prices and just to see a different trader per year. Be nice. Maybe we could have like somebody named uh, Big Bank Account uh, Brian. That'd be cool. Oh, you know what? I think also we needed somebody uh, down here to pick up compost, but... I think we're doing okay. We'll have to keep an eye on it. 
<laughs> You're playing Grim Dawn right now? Well, there you go. Yeah, when, when I first started playing this game, people were like, dude, this is from the people who made Grim Dawn. This is from Grim Dawn. Dude, this is from Grim Dawn. I'm like, what the hell is Grim Dawn? And even during their uh, stream of Farthest Frontier, Crate was like, uh, oh yeah, we're working on uh, stuff. I was like, ah, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Remember, horses, goats, chickens coming in soon. Have I ever played High Fleet? Yep, videos are on the channel. I think I was one of the first people to play it. They gave me, out of like everybody on YouTube, access to it. They were like, we want to just give it to you. And I'm like, okay. It was really cool. It was like playing, was like playing a Dune game from 95. It felt nostalgic, even though it was new. It was great. I'd love to play that one on the channel. Someday. But the devs were really cool. Very, very nice. Suspiciously nice. Hmm. Oh, I probably didn't build a house here because it's out of market range. Maybe not anymore. Ah. We'll squeeze in a house right there. Uh, and I hope they have more music in the game soon, too. Not because it's lacking, but because it's so good I want more. Uh, do you use night soil to fertilize the fields? That could lead to some bad stuff. Uh, yeah, that's that's what uh, uh, that's what the game kind of wants you to do. Any more halls of torment? Maybe soon. Good game. Well, tonight I was going to play more home seek, but I like doing stuff with the goof troop, so we'll see. Finally, we can build our town hall meow. Just rotating it 90 degrees. More sto storm chasers. You know, we got to find more cool, like $5 fun indie games on Steam. It's so amazing how many fun games are out there like uh, you know Battle Bit Remastered and Storm Chasers and it's really even when we play those games there it, it boggles my mind when there's people who will be like game I would like the game if the graphics were good and it's like man this is a good game I'm not playing Halls of Torment Stardew Valley Minecraft or any of the super popular titles from the last few years because graphic bad like, okay. Well, I want to. So if you guys have more games you want us to play that you think would be good for f more, hopefully more than four players, definitely throw me a DM. We need more, we need more good game. More brutal gameplay? Indeed it is. Yeah, I've just been using the same title. I feel like this is a... This is a little more extreme in terms of um, a survival city builder. Invasions and then the whole vastness of the amount of diseases that there can be in this game. Like typhoid, smallpox, cholera, dysentery, broken bones, worms. 
Uh, festering wounds. I think there's a way to read them all somewhere. Actually, where... How do you read? Maybe it's on a wiki or something. Oh, wait. I know where it is. There's something with the notifications, at least it used to show it. Maybe here. Starvation, raider attacks, taxes collected. Oh, see the brutality. The brutality of this game. It's it's hardcore, man. All the things that kill. Rabies, taxes. Dangerous, dude. <laughs> Dad tried to remake a master of magic. I don't remember that one. But I think the Goof Troop could probably go back and play games like Castle Crashers and... Or really what would be good is stealth titles, titles of games that came out over the last two years that... Not a lot of people play, but the moment we showcase them, people would love. That just not a lot of people know about, like Storm Chasers from last night, which was really cool. But it's like how games like Phasmophobia kind of start out real quiet, or Among Us. And then, you know... One streamer picks them up, then four, then twelve, and then, you know, the entirety of the world is playing for a period of time. Can I help you decide what to play, Banished or Donna Man? I think you should get both games if you're looking to make a purchase. Banished is a classic with tons of mods, and Donna Man is certainly a, a very fun city builder as well. But the next game I'll probably be playing on the channel is probably Don a man and finish that up before I do anything else. Maybe I should do a full achievement run in Don a man. <clears throat> we we were building another city and in Don a man the, the current time that we're playing is probably the last time I'm going to play it cuz I haven't I'm not going to play on like every map type in that game, but I did want to play out all the scenarios. And we pretty much did everything except for the current one I'm doing which is the uh it's the one where the winters are longer and the summers are shorter, and that's a much harder start, but we're starting to like survive on that one quite easily so rift breaker i don't know if that's one that one's multiplayer kitty yeah kitties <laughs> oh yeah under people on neolithic is very difficult there you go yeah yeah that's one of the achievements is like never upgrade and try to get a hundred people to survive just on hunting like basically like the start of the game. Yep, we should do that one. Actually, we could make that its own series. Yep, okay. So, Don and Man Extended. Yes, Extendo. Promota. Promota. All right, that's what we're going to do next. The next time we beat Don and Man and I get to, like, the end of the upgrade chain and build a cool fortress, we're going to start over and do a Neolithic run. Which I could imagine would probably take like maybe three or four streams. I, I don't know, maybe that won't be so hard because at least we don't have to focus on raiding or whatnot, but you do have to do a lot of hunting. Alright, so that's what we'll do. We'll do a Donna Man Neolithic Challenge. Caveman Survival Challenge. And this happened. Yeah, the Storm Chasers game was really cool. And then the dev showed up in the chat and was like giving us like XP and stuff. So we could unlock more vehicles like an SUV and stuff like that. Now that Wendy is a Fortnite character, will you play? No. Wait, if Wendy is an... You're, you're telling me Wendy from Wendy's, the fast food establishment, is now a character in Fortnite? Are you just joking? Because I'll close... I can uninstall this game right now.
The tornado yesterday was hilarious. Yeah, we had we had a blast just goofing. Games like that are perfect. Like, there is nothing wrong with a five to ten dollar game on Steam that's just trying to be like good at being mid, and that's what makes it like it's so good at just being the game that it says it's going to be. That's just incredible. That's why people like Vampire Survivors and Halls of Torment because it's like, oh yeah, we're not going to do anything special. We're just going to be, we're going to do, we're going to do this and we're going to do it really well. And it's like, perfect. <clears throat> it's like, it's like when you buy a high quality chair that's, you know, made by a person and not just like from a department store. If somebody does a part time, you know, wood turning in their workshop on their house at their property and they like make a set of chairs, that chair will survive literally a, a, an earthquake and a tornado could hit the house that the chair is in at the same time and the chair will be the only thing I'm broken. That's all I'm saying. Just sent you a Discord DM with the pick? Oh, that's just... Oh, you, oh, you sent it in the Discord a few days ago. That's gotta be a mod, that can't be official. Alright, hopefully we get a wave of immigrants in the next year. Immigration is at 99%, birth rate 96%, combat effectiveness. Oh yeah, that's another thing too. So wait a minute. We've got these towers that are upgraded to tier 2. We, we have tier 2 towers, we have crossbows, we have combat effectiveness at 117% because of the happiness. Then we've got a relic that gives us a plus 15%. I wonder what kind of damage we're pumping. Is there a way to see? This would still be a 7? I don't believe that. I feel like that should be way more. Anyway, if we're going to see some raids, it'll probably be next year. At the earliest. What's up, Seth? Welcome. In my playtest, I got these two relics. All villagers have 25% more health. I found that one too. And the other is the villager attack damage increased by 100%. Nice! Very nice, Peter. I wanted to try to find every relic in the game, but maybe it's impossible because maybe it's... Maybe there's like 30 relics in the game and there's like... Each trader has two... It looks like... I, I forget how many traders there are. Let's say there's... Let's say there's six. So each of the traders has two different relics. So there's 12. And then I found like two ruins so far. So there's at least 14. And then you confirm one more that I did know about. So I, I would guess there's probably maybe 20 to 25 different uh, relics. I'd like to see. I'm sure I'm sure there's a wiki list. My goal for this playthrough is to try, if I can, if it's in the game's design, to collect them all. Buy them all eventually. Just be a relic goblin. <sighs> But we'll see. Glory to Raptoria. Oh, yeah. Do I think it's time for another relic holder building? The temple? I would, I would build another one if I could, but you can only have one per city. We can upgrade the temple to tier 3. Which we could definitely do. Oh, wait, no. Now it updated. Um, yeah, we got we to gotta get to another tier. But we do have available relics here. We can switch. There's a little cooldown, though, between the, the switching of the relics. Not much I want to do there. Barrel trauma. Oh, good suggestion. Yeah, we played that before. That's a that's a good one.
Can relics be placed elsewhere or nah? Uh, they can be held in the... Um, your temple will hold them and tell you how many you have, and then you can only put like two on display at a time, or three if you upgrade the temple, but they can only be displayed at the temple, which gives you the bonuses. There are other buildings too for spirituality. There's like preachers who will stand near shrines, but um, I feel like that should generate money. It's an expense because you got to pay those workers to go preach, but I mean, donations to the bear den are looking a little light. We should have our people making a lot of tools. Wow, I got two blacksmiths making tools and it's still not enough. And we have ingots. We need more iron, it seems. More iron is needed. Uh, Raptor, how you doing? Mission Control workout for you and your buddies? Mission Control? I don't know if we played that one yet. Mission control. Nah, but we need more suggestions, though. Eh, you know, games like uh, Overcooked. You know, kind of games that are just more geared towards fun. Dirty and Lumberjack and Red like competitive shooters a bit, and they're quite good at them. But when it's, um... When it's more compe uh, when it's more, like, uh, fun... Like, I mean... There were still competitive... Co I think uh, Storm Chasers had leaderboards, like there was some competitive element to that, but we didn't really care, you know, it was just for fun. When am I going to Japan? Uh, probably the latest at next year. I uh, have friends in Japan, but they're busy currently. And uh, pretty much after August, it's off the table. Which version is 0 0.9 P3? Um, what? Oh, playtest 3? Information on this playtest is on the Steam store page. What's up, Beard and Bass? How you doing? Welcome back. It's the one where one person is an astronaut and the other group of players is in Houston. Oh. Oh. You're talking about something along the lines of... You know what we should play with, we gotta play with Dirty is uh, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. That's an old one though, that's gotta be like oof, 2015 or earlier. Or maybe even 10 years old. But Dirty has the VR headset and it'd be interesting to set up a way where I could stream but we could show everybody's camera at the same time. Or actually, the, the most interesting person to see would be Dirty because if he's doing the bomb disarming, we would basically just have a PDF in front of us. And we would all be in charge of different sections. Do we have an actual release date for this? Uh, so the developers said they're shooting for the summer of next year for a full release, but... I think they should just take that, take their time. Like, seriously, work work on the optimization and add that Tier 5 stuff. I'm very curious to see what they're going to come up with Tier 5, because... Tier 4, with the paper production and stuff, I, I, I feel like there's going to have to be some really complex end-game luxury goods, because we haven't I, I, we haven't even gotten a hint of any of it. I don't know what it could be. Jewelry? Um, there, there's got to be something difficult to get that needs to be... It'd be interesting if there was something you could only import, so you had to focus a lot on trading, and then be able to manufacture something with it as an end-game luxury good like the tier 5 people. Kind of like how the new world works in Anno 1800 where you have to import, you know, cigar like how cigars or tobacco has to be grown in the new world and then shipped to the old world, that kind of thing. Diamonds, yeah, something like that. Something. <laughs> Bearskin rugs, yeah. You want to play with the combat update? Oh, that'll be the net. Yeah, this this update 9 will be updated again soon to have even more content. So yeah, the next thing will be uh 
military. And that that's a good point, is that that's another thing that Tier 5 will probably offer, is way more defensive options and stuff. And I, I need to see what the hell... They, I mean, they gotta, they got to finish up every... I think what their plan now is to get everything filled up for 4. They want to complete everything through Tiers 1 and 4. Maybe they'll add some new early game stuff or w change how it works. You know, that's totally possible. And then when that's done, work on optimization. And then when that's done... Then I'd say move on to like tier five and end game stuff. And what would be interesting too is if there was some sort of a specialization you could do at the end. I like what they did with the temple and how that works a little differently. And I'd love to see some sort of a, as we mentioned before, an embassy or some sort of building that will give you an end game specialty that would work differently somehow. Because like you can do that with the guild. Like the guild hall lets you. And we'll be getting to that eventually. We haven't even started on paper or anything. We're trying. We're trying to get our numbers up. We got to get more people in the village so we can open these industries. But as soon as we get more people here, then we can start on the paper industry and do the guild hall, which I think that's tier four. Yeah, we got to build the library. We got to build the guild hall. But when we do that, we can see some more of the new uh, how some of the new things function. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. I don't know why he needs his own intro like that, but every time he shows up, that song seems to play. I don't know why. Ah, he's buying swords. Mm, not much I want to sell. I'd rather make more clothes. Damn. Not much I want to buy. Buy some barrels if they're up to, for sale. Yeah, we could do that, yeah. The more abundant food we get, too, the better chance we get for... Uh, friends to show up. Friends. We all want friends. How do you optimize storage and travel times of workers? Um, you could build storage closer to their place of gathering. Like if you have a gold mine, you could build... Eh, I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I think the best thing you probably want to do is just build... At a certain point, you could build multiple uh, Wainwrights, you know, the wagon buildings, and then put down stone roads. But I never really have too much trouble with travel time. Am I going to play Remnant 2? Um, I don't... I haven't heard of that one yet. I mean, I've heard of it, but I haven't... I don't know much about it. I'll have to look into that. Oh, there's a two by two decorative tree. Hold on, boys, hold on. Might want to try this <clears throat> new decorative tree. I haven't really done much uh, in the newer versions of the game with de like some of the new decoration that require a lot more bricks. I haven't really played this game this in depth in a very long time. So a lot of this stuff is new to me, like decorations are new to me, and um, I haven't really toyed with the uh, other thing too much. The uh, the new deep mines. Oh, an urn. That takes bricks though, right? Oh, only three. Also, they're going to have to f uh, add more like tier four decorations and... Oh, anybody know how to change the variety of a building before you place it? Like, is there is there a way to cycle through? Because I want to get another circular one, but I want it to look like that one.
they look a little different. See, this one's like a circular one with like just a circular stone. And now this one's like a wood diamond. But I want another circular stone. Is there a cycle button? So I don't have to do that every time. All right, I'll go with the stone one with the wood, and then it gives me the regular stone again. Oh my god. All right, there. Okay, fine. Game's trolling me. All right, cool. I was just designing our cool little uh, town hall, make it look cute. All right, we're good. I like the variations, though, of the same decoration. That's also a nice touch. For each of the decorations. Well, not all of them have that, but... I hope we get more statues in the future. That are the, uh, you know, like the one-by-one, one, but give me, like, three different... You know, give me the soldier, the scholar, and, like, the... The mother, or the... Fisherman or whatever, you know, it's just something cool. I think maybe what I could do eventually is flatten out a little bit more of this and then put the town hall here, uh, something. What do the wagons do? Uh, the larger wagons are for transporting like ore, like clay, sand, iron, big heavy buckets of like earth. Huh. That ornamental tree that has red brick doesn't require red brick. Interesting. Alright, well. 
We'll add a little more decor. You're chuckling about last night's tornado stream? Oh, it was great. The boys had a lot of fun. What was the game that had two lordly dogs protecting the keep? I have no idea. Yeah, lots of shorts. Uh I put I put a lot of uh, shorts from last night into our uploads thing for our uh, stream uh, our shorts team. I hope um, and we're gonna have to like share some of our clips together so like we can edit that into like one everybody's perspective thing. We'll have Lumberjack do it on one of his vacation days. Who needs hug today? Well, I need, if you could add an E to the end of hug, I would need a huge donut today. I would appreciate that. Big O chocolate donut. A little tea or coffee. Mm. <laughs> I could use a hug and pizza. All right, that's maybe that's a better deal. Or change that to huge pizza, yeah. All right, we'll see how that looks later. Come on, when are we gonna big, get a big group? Wait, 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 wait. I got a better idea. Hold on. This is going to look this going to look cute. Must make it look nice. We got You know what we got to do is we got to make this look nice for Big Money Masuk. We got to like impress him. Next year he comes he's going to be like, "Damn. What you been doing?" Oh, what's up, Big Money? Just been spending the big money I've been making from trading with you. Hmm. What trees do I want here? Those look like gold. Let's put in some maple. 
Maple on uh, yeah, maple on the outside, spruce on the inside. And then we could do a bunch of these on the outside. Good, good. Gonna look nice. You don't trust trees. All those leaves, they always turn on you. You know, I really wish YouTube had something where I could give you guys badges for different things you do in the chat. I think it should do things for, like, you know, biggest super chatter, biggest watch, you know, like, most hours watched or whatever. But there should also be one for, like, chattiest chatter and f funniest chatter. Like, those, those are the best ones. I've been spending a lot of stone. Joke of the day award, yeah. We used to have it where I'd read out like rap lyrics, or for some reason we got into penicillin facts every time we'd get a new member. But I kind of kind of ran out of penicillin facts. I actually got a PhD for, for the amount of penicillin facts I read out on chat. But I actually uh, have a doctorate now in uh, reading medical facts. We gotta, we gotta come up with some other funny things to do for when we get members. It's a celebration. How many penicillin facts are there? I feel like it's a relatively simple thing. Mmm. I mean, well. You know how it goes. It started out as a re relatively simple cure that man stumbled upon but then some people are allergic to penicillin so then they had to come up with like drugs that were that would do what penicillin would do but then people who were allergic to penicillin would be they would be able to be treated with what penicillin is supposed to do but then it came into like all the other drugs and stuff Yeah, it's, it's a rabbit hole, yeah. We used to... I don't know if you get... Does anybody in chat know Tidbits? That little, like... You'd go out to, like, a mom-and-pop restaurant or, like, a, maybe a local Denny's or Waffle House or an IHOP or something. And there would be that little... It'd be, like, a simple piece of paper that was folded and it was called Tidbits. And there'd be, like, a bunch of local ads and stuff in there for, like, muffler repair places and, you know other mom and pop shops but people would write articles that would be on certain themes like it'd be like oh the hist like facts about ancient china or uh i don't know things about like aquifers or uh, there, there's a great it was a great little written thing of like maybe I don't know, six to twelve small articles or something like that it was fascinating. It got me into like wanting to know more about a lot of stuff. Amoxicillin is the alternative to uh, penicillin. Thank you. Oh, I put a little dirt path there. I didn't want that. Actually, maybe it looks nice. I don't know. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Good variety. You read 10 facts about asphalt the other day? Yeah, I like that. You just pick up a quick thing. It's like a 15-minute read about, you know, it's like you can become an expert in just a few minutes. At least it feels like it.
All right. Yeah, we need a lot more stone. You like how I take time to decorate? Yeah, true. I just this I I did that in one of the other cities we built. I started building like these tiers. We built on like the side of a mountain and I started to flatten things out and I came up with just kind of like a way I do things, I don't know. Although it's pretty simple simple to do because everything's kind of you're a little limited, but it looks gorgeous. Although they've added more to it, so Alright, let's build another smokehouse. I want to make sure we're making enough of that. Taking time for the aesthetics is important, yeah. Yeah, with all these predators, where's Alien? Bound to show up soon. Did I get any cardio outside stuff done today? Um, no, maybe this evening. Maybe? We'll see. It would be really cool. In the last stream for this game, too, the developer was talking about how it's possible, though, it's not high on their priority list to make diagonal walls, like how they made diagonal roads. And I was just thinking that'd be really cool to make, like, a, a citadel, like a star fort. That'd be really cool. Although I have a feeling that that would be so big it would... It'd be hard to build towers along that, so that way they could have overlapping range. Will I play Total War Pharaoh? Probably. I'll give it a shot, whenever.
It's always good to get the step patterns in and fresh air. It helps your insomnia sleep patterns. True. Very true. Well, actually, I, did, I actually I went out last night. I went, uh, I went and did a little shopping. So, although it wasn't necessarily as much outside, it was still out of the house. So that was good. Be careful if you play Total Warhammer 3, one faction uses bears. I know that. Yep. I think Age of Wonders, we made a bear clan too. Yeah, I think... Uh, isn't there a clan that like has a... I swear, I thought it was like a sled that was pulled by bears and then somebody shoots off the back of the sled or something? I can't remember. Have they added new, any new buildings in the update? Oh yeah, for sure, tons. There's the uh, temple here. There's a guild hall. There's a library. There's a paper maker. There's a book maker. Um, there's, like, there, there's destroyed temples that you can go and excavate to get relics. And those go inside the temple. Um, there's deep mines, but that was in the, a more recent update. I haven't seen the deep mines yet, so that's new to me. But it uh, seems like they've added a bunch of stuff just in the last couple months. And a lot of stuff more recently. They made it so the work camp can now be kind of converted to a uh, a logging camp a bit. Oh, we need more, more logs too. Oh, we're, we're cutting them down. I'm just waiting to get that uh, laborer number up so we can get more stuff done in the city. Alright, well, since we don't have logs, we may as well get rid of these folks. And we'll just have everybody on logging for now. Yeah, deep mines are tier 4, yep. Yeah, I haven't seen any of the... You know, honestly, I... I when they started to bring in decorations for tier... Some of these newer tier decorations and things that they were working on for upgraded parks. I haven't really done much of that. I was, when the uh, developers started doing updates, I was more concerned about like the optimization and stuff. So we went and did like some tours of big cities and went and saw how they would run and they were, ran much better, but you know, still ways to go, but much better, much better. I mean, we went from like 13, 13 actually, you know what we should do? Later in the stream, maybe we'll try to load another city and just see, you know, what the optimization is on an older city. Although, I feel like to be fair to the game, I want to start a new city each time just, just to like start fresh and see how it runs through the whole, the whole path. Oh yeah, this game had big performance issues for sure, yep. And it w you know, it's amazing. They made such a good game that I didn't even care. Like, the game was nearly unplayable with the low frame rate, but it was like, don't care. Game good, me play. Well, that looks pretty. Look at that. You know, I actually really appreciate the, the dirt and the stuff there. I guess I could get rid of this now. Unauthorized death. I heard it. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. 
got that down to a damn science. Couldn't you place the storage wagon next to your quarry to collect stone and wood quicker? What would, what would happen in that case is that the people who would go mining, when they're done mining the stone, they bring it all the way back here. And then whenever it's needed for construction, people will pick it up from here and bring it to wherever the construction's needed. If I bring the wagon here, the workers who are mining will just drop it off at the wagon, but the construction worker will still have to walk all the way up to the wagon and get it and all the way back. So the trip will be the same distance. As far as I know. You got villagers dying all the time and then you realized you built a fence around them and <laughs> they couldn't get out? Yeah. You know, what, you know what had happened once? I bet this is the coal mine. Yep. Um, I had this weird problem the devs fixed a long time ago where uh, couldn't get people to leave the farm. Like they would stay on the farm field and then die in the field because they couldn't they couldn't find a path back to the road. Oh, there's more coal. We're good. So that was fun. Building these mines really makes me excited for. Uh, stronghold. They're they're making a new stronghold. Essentially, it's a remake or a remaster of the original game, but they're adding like 14 new missions to it and a bunch of stuff that's going to like mimic the original game from 2001. So it's almost like a, a like a demake kind of like they're making it purposely crappy. Like they're purposely going out of their way to lower the quality of certain things in the game to look like the original, which I I, I find to be just awesome. I love that. I love that original Stronghold so much. Now the cool thing is, is if they're remaking Stronghold, you know, like the original, that means we could also get a Stronghold Crusader remake. And that'd be interesting as hell. Gives throwbacks to The Sims, yeah. Hey, what's up, Jan? How are we doing on tools? Okay, 33. That's good. All right. So now I'm going to have our blacksmith start making... One to one. So one weapon, one tool, one heavy tool. RTS good only with large maps? Um, well, it depends. I guess it depends on the RTS. You think that says a villager has been cursed? I know, I know. Every once in a while I'll look up and I'll be like, cursed. And then I'm like, well, there's no magic in this game. But it'd be really cool to see dark fantasy in this game eventually. Dragons and stuff, or somehow somebody modding it to be Lord of the Rings slash uh, Game of Thrones type stuff. Or just adding more industries to it. That's what's really nice about Austria is every time that the... Like, two times a year, the dev of Austria will update it, and he'll be like, hey, I'm putting in a new building. I'm putting in, I don't know, like a new, like a medical building or something for the first time. Well, actually, they, they have the barber, but, you know, like when he added the um, uh, the blacksmith or what, the, the building that has all the rocks that can block the river so it's forced to go through the water wheel. And I just love that. It feels like a mod. It's like, oh, dude, someone, the developer modded in new stuff. It's like, well, okay, that's not a mod. He's developing his game, but yeah, it feels like a mod. I get excited. Like, Ostrieve big update dropped. I added one new tree. Oh, dude. All right, guys, welcome to the big update. <laughs> I get all excited.
Ostriv. O S T R I V. It's uh, Ukrainian for was it river or island or an island in a river? Some something to do with water. Gorgeous game. It, Ostriv was one of the first games that I saw do winter transition that blew my mind. Farthest Frontier, I think, does it a little a little better because it adds like leaves and birds flying over and but the camera here is fixed. Like you can't in Austria the camera's a lot more free. And the atmosphere so thus your focus down so the atmosphere makes more sense. But Austria still it blows my mind. The full to winter to spring transition is incredible. Oh god. Another death. That was the second off. Cows? Oh, we don't have cows yet, but uh, I'll be working on that later. Mostly I'm working on trying to get more... Um, more immigrants to move in by just maxing out the food we have. But cows will give us uh, dairy, and that will give us cheese. Actually, you get three, four things with cows. You get more hides, so you can make more shoes or leather clothing. You get the milk, you get the meat, and then you get tallow, which of course then gives you more for soap. Yeah, there's our barrel friend, all right. I'll sell the soap. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. Ten immigrants into the village. Beautiful. Can I transfer a bunch of gold here? Oh, it's on its way. I will right, check back in a minute. Huzzah! Now we have almost 300 people in the city. 285. Getting close. Only thing they want is a little more desirability. So we've got to build something there. Okay, we're going to see if they transfer that. Make that purchase. needed. Yeah, we need more firewood, too. Every time Raptor shaves his beard, he looks way younger. Well, thank you. Okay, well, we bought a bunch of barrels, so that'll help store food for a couple years. We'll eventually start making our own.
All right, we got the coal mines up. buying all those barrels <sighs> helps food preser preservation I'm trying to like sneak more people in Is this officially released? And if you want to get this version of the game, uh, go to the Steam store page and look at the community post for this. And there should be details on everything that's new with Update 9. And then also the, um, I'm just calling it Update 9, but technically it's like what? Version 0 0.9.0, so something like that. But anyway, just go to Steam, go to the News tab, and uh, there should be a whole big O update on it. What's up, Mr. Thesis? Welcome back, dude. Good to see you. Uh, the command for the join button is exclamation point join us. Uh, but the Discord, yeah, exclamation point Discord too. Also, if you aren't uh, following me yet there, chat, uh, Instagram, I'm putting up some pretty cool uh, pictures of things going on lately around here and or classics from previous trips around the world. So exclamation point Instagram, follow me now. I'm also trying to get to uh, 10,000 followers there. So if you haven't yet followed me, be pretty pretty nice if you were to uh, follow me there right now. That'd be pretty cool. And hey, Mr. Thesis, welcome back as a raptor egg. Good to see you. This kind of looks nice. I feel like we don't even need a road here. <laughs> Roads? May as well delete it. Don't need no road. Looks real nice. <gasps> Bro, this hedge is hovering above the ground. Unplayable. Wow. Wow. Yeah, more music choices in the game for sure, yep. New member, welcome. But I feel like alternatively I could just put this music on pause and then start playing like Stronghold music. Or whatever. Roads, where we're going we don't need. Rose. That's right. Oh yeah, Captain of Industry added more music recently. That was nice. That was pretty cool. Oh, I hear a lot of wood getting chopped. That's good sound. Hey, Black Dragon. Yeah, it's a beautiful game. It, the coolest thing is just to like, when you when you get a town this big, you could just look just look at the town and just see the town doing town things. Nice. 
That's where they're doing all the logging, I guess. Yeah, we could put another shrine around here. I don't think we have one down here. And then upgrade it to tier 2. Hundred and twenty bread, hundred and fifty six meat. That's a lot of burgers. Burger. What's up, RC guy? The chatty chatters are indeed chatting in the chat. That is true. Oh, I forgot to put the town's money back in the coffers. My bad. We can build like a couple more houses here. I wouldn't want to build too many more, but... How are we doing on iron ore? We got 111. We have no ingots. I don't think we need heavy tools for a little bit. Weapons and tools we need, though. This is an excellent new extremely brutal hardcore colony settlement survival simulator. I agree. I agree. How are we doing this morning? We're doing good. We got rats, but we got a rat catcher. We got rats. Rats. Oh, looks like we need some more crossbows.
Let's hire a couple more workers. I think we have a lack of crossbows because we have a lack of iron to make them. We could build a third foundry, but eh, actually that would be a good idea. We could have two foundries working on gold and one foundry working on iron full time. And then upgrade tier two. Beautiful winter time. Yeah, once we get to tier 4, if we upgrade two foundries for iron and one for gold, that should be enough. Is that a wolf in the background? Yeah, they howl in the winter, but... You always hear them, but they don't increase their attacks in the winter. But when spring happens, you're going to see predator, predator, predator. Like, in the upper left corner, it's going to tell us about predator attacks constantly. And it's because bears are coming out of hibernation. So the game actually simulates, like, the patterns of animals. But in the winter, I feel like the wolves should be a little more aggressive. Oh...
Picnic baskets. Actually, speaking of baskets, I think we need more of those, too. Yeah. Damn, why are we having such trouble getting Willow? We got Willow here and here. We got a forger directly on that. Ashes of Creation? I don't think I've heard of that one. Oh, wow, you have a thousand population with four smelters and 32 foundry. <laughs> yeah, I like how this game... One thing I do like, though, is that I don't think your town should ever be self-sufficient 100% for anything, because then it kind of takes out the whole fun trade mechanic. So I always don't mind... And, you know, like earlier versions of the game when we didn't have deep mines and whatnot you would run out of sand eventually like it would just it would just happen and you would just have to or you just couldn't get enough and sometimes it was just easier to import the sand than it was to just spend all that time mining and so you know you just import as much as you were making and you all almost break even on it because then you'd sell the glass but it would be kind of all the work you had to put in to make it wasn't yeah yeah we don't have any deep minings yet but no deep mining going on yet soon hey but we're almost to 300 population all right i thought we would be there two streams ago but you know that's how far this frontier goes i guess oh no there's rats Well, I guess it makes sense to put a rat catcher next to the root cellars now. Oh, was there a notification for a mine being depleted? Um, maybe one of our clay pits. I don't have any more mines. Uh, I moved a coal mine. Oh, this is looking great. Wow, that looks beautiful. Yeah, it it may have popped up with the whole um, mine is out of st um, out of ore. I, I shut it down and asked for it to be deleted, but it, maybe it was still telling me that like one like one that I had already shut down and was going to delete was still like on the map. Is this big money, Masuk? Hey, the Iron Clan. Ooh, she's selling the uh, stone for no money at all. Hmm. Having a little trouble with clothing? I'll buy lots of stone get those numbers back up. There we go. Okay, 
Okay, clothing is here. Nice. Yeah, it's going to look real nice this winter. When the trees turn, it's going to look pretty. No, you can fish year-round. Seasons won't stop that. Now, where are the predator attacks? Where are they? You know, I think all the money we had last year was wiped out by those barrels, too. So hopefully the investment that we put into the barrels will give us some more villagers. Then we can eventually make our own. Right now we're making a lot of tools. No weapons, no crossbows. Oh, it actually takes planks and iron to make those. Interesting. Ah, big O raid. 65 raiders. All right. Big O insane invasion. You have 12 months left to pay a thousand gold or they will attack. You're gonna just sit out there for a year? You know what would be cool? Is if they sat there for a year... And then you could actually attack them before they attack you. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let this sit here and I'm gonna ignore them. And this will give us a year to build up our forces before they attack. Also, there should be a button here to not just pay or deny, but also, like, you should be able to minimize this, because, a, a, hey, hey, we're going to attack you in a year, so, like, that is more than enough time for me to, like, prepare to kick your ass. So, oh, no, a year? Yeah, let me, let me think about if I want to be invaded. Give me, give me a year to think about. I'm just thinking, not doing anything else. I'm totally uh, thinking about your invasion offer. Just thinking over here. Uh, we should probably buy these, too. Get up on these ingots. Hmm, planes riders here. When is she leaving? Damn, two days. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, I wouldn't sell anything to him anyway. Might buy that tallow, though. Barely have any money. All right, goodbye, ma'am. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be invaded in a year. That's fun.
Now, the fact that they're giving us this warning, too, means that these are probably more advanced troops. These are not just regular old... I mean, probably a lot of them are the clubmen, but a lot of them are the better ones, too. So they're going to cause a little bit more damage. C can you build a tower now and pick them off over time? You know, actually, I think if we've experimented with that before. You can't interact with the enemy army in any way. But in the future, I think it might be implied that the uh, enemies will set up raid camps like that, and either they'll raid more frequently until you destroy the camp, or they will... Um, or maybe this will happen where they'll show up like this, and, and then you can kill them beforehand. Oh, this, oh, this was out of clay. I checked that one. All right, we need another clay pit. Let's do one over here somewhere. Oh, there's one. Ah, that's perfect. All right, so they're going to attack in 11 months. But yeah, I think in the future we'll be able to send out our military and fight them somehow before they invade. Or before they attack the city. And I hear they're going to set up an actual camp. That you'll be able to uh, destroy. All right, that could be big money Masoup coming in. This is what it looks like, by the way, when you get a YouTube uh, DMCA claim. Hey man, you did a six hour live stream and 11 seconds of Rhythm as a Dancer played? Dude, we're taking everything from you. Hey! You have a one second to pay whatever, or we're taking down your channel. Well, can't stop me, because I only played two seconds, so nice try. Actually... I'm going to screenshot that for later. Well, rhythm is indeed a dancer, but you're going to have to pay a high price for the rhythm. Rhythm isn't free, people. Alright, this guy is buying our Air Jordans. You know, I wonder, too, when we get to the next tier, like Tier 4, I wonder if the uh, the traders will sell different relics, too. That'd be kind of cool. And they're going to come in from over here. Oh, is that is that coal? Oh, nice. Cool. Oh, wow. 3,000. All right. When we're done with coal on the other side, we'll go mine over there. Yeah, the traders will sell relics. You can also find them out in the map. Looks like there's a lot of stone over here. I didn't realize that. Let's clear that area. Eric with the five, thank you very much for 
being a shareholder of a piece of the rhythm. That part, that, that part of rhythm is for you. Just you, just you though. Uh, is the invading army new from some last up p patches? No, that was in from the very beginning. At the beginning of the game, they always raid you, but at a certain point, you have you have time to pay them money to help offset the high price for Rie, which is nice. Indeed, chat, you do have a, the power of rhythm in all of you. All right, let's change our thingy here a little bit to make sure we make weapons. I'm going to try to get weapons to all the people in the towers. Though crossbows are way more important. keep making our crossbows yep the town's doing some great improvements plus the enemy's likely to destroy a couple towers so we'll make sure we're ready uh, Raptor can any member do the ATS thing tonight um yeah well, we'll do Goof Troop first, but it's up to eight. But it might change. I, I just put that there as a placeholder and seeing if anybody's interested. This game is amazing. Indeed it is. I wonder if we could upgrade these two towers before the enemy, uh...
Might be a good idea. They do frequently attack from that eastern side. Don't really have much else to sell that lady. Now, hold on to it for better prices. More prices are needed. Oh, more death. Does the enemies, do they find weak points? I think, uh, I feel like they prioritize gates. But they do take a path of least resistance to, they are tar They target a lot more than they used to. It used to kind of just be the, um, like the storage things and the vaults. And now it's like the markets, the statues. So you can kind of design a city to try to defend against them a little bit. You don't have the Texas DLC yet? Oh, damn. Well, we might end up there. You never know. I think what might happen is uh, if we play ATS, we'll... I just wanted to play something with the guys again because it had been a while and Storm Chasers was really fun last night, but it could change. But I like that ATS is up to eight players for that. We need more games that don't let you just play four player. Four player is fine. But if it's just a fun simulator, I, I want it to be more unlimited. Like Flight Sim. Flight Sim's almost unlimited. Oh, that's good. We got 10,000 ore and 10,000 coal literally sitting next to each other. Or 3,000, but that, that's still a lot of coal. Yeah, Flight Sim is a lot of fun, too, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think I saw a poll that American Truck slash Euro Truck, whoever the developer is, again, I forget, Sedesco or something like that. The people who, or SCS Software, that's who it was. SCS Software made a post on Twitter, like, a week or two ago, and they asked people, like, between ATS and Euro Truck, what do you use to play that game? Like, do you use a controller mouse and keyboard steering wheel it was like 64 percent of people some some crazy number said steering wheel and i was like wow like and tons of people own that game like tons of people like a massive majority of steam owns that game because the game is literally what it says it <laughs> it is and it's really fun to play and so yeah great i mean that, that game sells steering wheels man even I bought one for that game, and I'm glad I did, because then we went on to play SnowRunner with it, which is a lot of fun, too. I would do Goof Troop SnowRunner, but we're holding for the new update for that one, too. Always fun to do co-op building projects with friends. I'd say SnowRunner's a little better than ATS, because you actually get to build stuff, but I would love that in ATS. If there were certain highways and things that you actually could deliver materials to to then build a couple of routes or something. Wouldn't be as realistic because, you know, but I like when they do events in ATS and Euro Truck where it's like, oh, this road's closed until we build this new bridge that we're building. So we got to deliver X number of these materials and then it'll open. Really fun.
Oh yeah, Satisfactory. I feel like I don't want to play Satisfactory for a while until that game comes out. I never get too far. I need more, um... I need more help in that game, you know? I need, like, four Uthrises. Alright, six months the enemy army will attack. That'll be summer. No, oh, you bought all the DLCs for SnowRunner. SnowRunner's great. Yeah, if you get a group of friends in there to build stuff. It's really nice. Yeah, with the steering wheel, you probably buy pedals too, yeah. That's what we need in this game, brother. We need to do some trucking. We need 18 wheel wagons, brother. How do we still have rats? We have a catcher right here. Let's see if we can upgrade some towers. Three fit three fifty is what we need, okay. Actually I should add troops to these. Yeah, they're adding um, goats, uh, chickens, and uh, horses to the game. But the horses, I think, will work more for cavalry and troops. But I would like them to have another use on the farm, like being able to plow the fields or something. I mean, if they came up with some sort of way to use the horses for agriculture or for something else, it'd be cool as a further bonus. Yeah, the invasion will come in four months. We'll see what happens.
We should be able to get the trades done. I can't remember if that clock actually moves or not. What is this map? Uh, this is the kind of a mountainous map. Uh, I forget the term. Uh, mo mountain lakes? Standing by. You found out that you can move the cow pasture over your orchards to increase the fertility. Oh, it does, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exclamation point uh, FF tutorials. Uh, there's a great way to be able to increase the fertility of your orchards by having your cows go into the orchards and eat there. Additionally, you can make farm fields fertile before even planting them. For example, if you were going to make an extension to an area that's got like b basically no fertility, like down here, you can have the cows come down here and graze for a few years, and you can make a huge fertile land plot. And then, like, it's advisable to come in and cut down all the trees, then have the cows come in and make the area fertile, and then you can basically, like, plant a bunch of farm fields or orchards after that, and then immediately have top fertility. It was really useful uh, before the whole auto-fertilize thing was a thing, so that way you didn't have to... It kind of balanced fertilization a little bit more, so it really helped to make more... Fertile farm fields. Because right now our fertility is at like pretty much 90% or more. Alright. Not too long until the raiders come on in. Yeah, barrels are too expensive. We're going to have to buy our own. I mean, make our own.
All right, the attack starts soon. We got one guy making weapons full time. Ah. Still a lack of ingots. fire. I need like another foundry just doing iron. Can they destroy your city? They sure can. I mean, they can sure, sure try. Weapons are just too expensive. We just can't make enough of them. Also, I remember another thing that was annoying in this game is if you had, like, a bunch of troops in your... Um, in your barracks and you had them kitted out with really good equipment and stuff they would just die in the equipment and like not give it back I found that annoying that if somebody at the barracks just dies of old age and they literally have like armor and a weapon that it doesn't <laughs> they're so expensive and they take so long to make that like a suit of armor and a uh, like a heavy weapon may as well just be like a battle tank What was the biggest raid we've had so far? Uh, I think this will be the biggest at 65. In all my history of the game... Maybe... A hundred? I, I honestly don't remember. Gotta bury the man in his drip. Yeah, that's how I justified it too, where it's like, if they die in their armor, they just get buried with it. Alright, I'm going to transfer back to the town so we have plenty of people to guard. And here comes the attack. They are mad. Now, we could have totally paid them off, but I, I never pay them off. But now I've doubled the security. They're just going to destroy a bunch of fences and stuff. When it says buildings destroyed, a lot of that could just be fences.
And they're bailing. Their attack has failed. Sixty-five attacked, fifty-five were killed. Ten of them can leave wounded to tell the others not to try that again. Mission complete. Actually, destroy that guard tower. Nice. Or no, a fence. Beautiful. Oh, there's going to be some food shortages since everybody was running to the town and not doing any farming. So hopefully that doesn't hurt the town too 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 bad. Actually, we have food. It just during the invasion, nobody wanted to go shopping, and I don't I don't blame them. Cool. You're surprised at how organized my village is? Yeah, I got a little bit of experience in this game. Oh yeah, we're we're making food. We're good. All right, good job. Everybody did a good job. All right, we'll just distribute food again and we'll be good. Yeah, I would love this game in Japan, like going to uh, many different societies, having it slightly different with its look of buildings would be amazing. I would love that. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we've added a lot more troops to the military because we're starting to see a lot more invasions. So we're going to have a lot more military expense. Now guard training is costing us 166. But the more houses we get upgraded to the next tier, the better. Things will be a little tough in the town for a little bit, as, of course, we've got... Well, everybody was hiding from the invasion. Don't blame them. Don't blame them at all. All right, let's upgrade the rest of our roads. We've got tons of stone. Hey, what's up, Anne? My day is good. We'll start with those. Is there a Warhammer city builder? No, but that would be great. That's the only thing missing from Warhammer. They've got everything, like 
turn-based strategy games, first-person shooters, third-person shooters, tabletop, card games. Now they just need a racing simulator, <laughs> Warhammer 40k racing, and uh, and a city builder. Love it. How, do, how did the raid go? Oh. I don't think we got an after report. Or I, I didn't click on it. Oh well. Alright, one cemetery is completely full. Catcher is going to be working full time. The new update is good. Our town is now in year 68. Next year will be pretty nice. 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 So now we're just trying to uh, get all the weapons for towers. Everything's going okay. How many hours do I have in the game? Uh, I think we're close to 300 now. Let me uh, tab out and check and see if it's... Oh, it's doing this mode. All right, let's do that. Okay, uh, let's see. So I'm at 292. Yep, so... Next couple of streams, we'll hit 300 hours.
my god. Katrina got drunk, wandered out to the forest with beans, bread. <laughs> On her way to the tower, she blacked out with beans, bread, and some other stuff in the woods. Too many drinky drinks. City Skylines is your record with 600 hours? Wow. I don't know what my most played game is. You're nearing 600 on farm sim? Wow. I can believe that. Farm sim's ton. Tons of fun. Yeah, we played the uh, Oregon Trail. Lots of streams of that on the channel. <laughs> Is there a Joan of Arc mod for this game? I don't know. Uh oh. We got a blizzard. So, we better make sure this is good to go. Yeah, we should be okay with firewood, but I'm going to have to increase the production. I'm going to build another foundry. We're just, we're just going to have to. I think we'll build a backup firewood cutter here. guys need more food types. Can we do orchards yet? Maybe it'd be good to start with the orchards rather than cows. Actually, that would just give us more berries, wouldn't it? Nah, fruit never lasts long enough. We almost have to make preserves in order for that to matter. Now, if I put down cows, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. Not sure. Big ol' blizzard.
You're curious to what the strategy on cows is? I got a lot of strategies with them on um, exclamation point FF tutorials. Cows are cool. They do take a while, though. But we'll be building everything. Might be a good spot for cows here. Or an extendo farm here. Uh, yeah, the fruits we get are uh, peaches, apples, and pears. You know what I could do before we even... Well... What might be a wise idea before even building that would be to start making preserves. We have tons of berries here that just die every year. But what we could start doing is making a preservist building. Which would give us preserves, which would be a whole new food type. Taking advantage of something we're already making in a huge abundance. But we need a glass maker for that. And we would need uh, quite a few. I think that thing employs like, what, eight people? Nine people? It's a pretty crazy number. Yeah, there's kind of natural disasters in this game. It's more like just a change of weather. I mean, in the spring, lightning can hit buildings and start them on fire. Building fires can happen pretty much any time, but they're rare. Um, and then there's also heat waves and blizzards. Uh, the gold number is fine. It'll go up and down based on what the foundry is working on. When they switch between doing gold and iron, then the number will go down. So we're profitable, but just not at the moment. Do the villagers still throw away jars? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to go for the whole preservist thing and glass making before we do uh, cows. Or at least the arborist. Nice. Nice. Is this one of the games you stream the most hours of? Yep, absolutely. Alright, if we're going to do cows, I think it's going to have to be uh, maybe down here. I don't know where to put them, though. This I'm going to expand for the brewery. Well, we put we could put some cattle barns here. Oh, maybe here. No, I was going to put the compost down there. 
And I don't want to do cows up there because there's too many wolves. All right, here's what I want to do. I'm going to put, um, we'll do an arborist here and we'll start growing orchards here eventually. So we'll use this land here as a cattle. This will be a pasture for them for a few years. And then, oh, you know what? I don't even like getting cows until we upgrade the, the barn to tier two. So usually what I do is I, I just skip the tier one barn. I'll build the tier one barn, upgrade it to two and then get cows. And it, there was a problem with the barn in the in the original versions too, where some something would happen with oh maybe it was the tier two that had the problem. I don't remember. Anyway, I like tier two better. But anyway, let's build a barn here because it's perfect, right in the middle of the farm. And we'll probably build two barns too. You, you like this game, but you struggle to get it going. If you guys ever need help, remember exclamation point FF tutorials. I have tutorials on farming, military, getting started day one. Uh, I think decoration and dealing with the desirability. Some are a little outdated with the updates, but they're not, they're not inaccurate. They're just kind of like the game goes beyond that now. Do I have a vault? No, not yet. I needed all that iron for my weapons. As soon as that foundry's done, man, we're going we're going all in with iron. We just simply need more iron to build more stuff. And we need more people. I guess it's FF tutorial, not not plural. I always forget. I'm like, is it t plural or not? A building is on fire. Well, would you look at that? Man, that other barn takes so much wood, too. So many planks are needed for that tier 2 barn. Not tier 2, but just like... the barn. Alright, so, uh... We could probably get... Oh! It looks like Anders sells cows every year, too. Like, before in this game, it was hard to get cows because they were, um... Well, they're very expensive. Very, very expensive. But also, he wouldn't bring them every year. Seems like he's been bringing them every year. 
Yes, indeed, chat. More wood is needed. Not selling baskets. Nope. And I'm not going to sell clay pots either. Just close. More Elijah wood is needed. Not enough wood, my lord. More wood is needed. More wood is needed. Yeah, you can turn the work uh shot what is it called? The work work camp? Work camp. I think you can turn the work camp into a uh into like a logging camp now. Standing by. Wow, 20 villagers just graduated? Jeez. Woo. Crazy. Twenty villagers with smallpox now. Great. And do we have big money Masuk? Been a little while, Masuk. Ah. The Iron Clan. She's charging more for that damn ingots again. Soldiers and guards do more damage. Hmm. That'd be good for the tower. I wonder if that implies... I hope that's not melee only. It does say blade, which implies that. But it would be nice if it stacked on top of a guard shooting a crossbow and causing more damage. I wanted to get her other thing, though, where the blacksmiths worked faster. That'd be a good one.
All right, so now we have three foundries. Hopefully making tons of iron ore into iron ingots and, of course, gold. Because... Here comes the money! Yeah, exactly. Yo, Tawana, thanks for the nine months as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the big O support. Wow. And thanks to all you chatty chatters for all your big O support. But speaking of big money masseuse, Here comes it's the big money, money masseuse. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. There he is. Oh, and he's also selling ingots. And we're being raided. Wow, so many good things. <laughs> so awesome and amazing. Wow, he's buying brewskis, bruh. Okay. We'll leave 250 in the town. I'm gonna try to buy the rest of his stuff. Ooh, and 10 people just showed up? Wow, there's so much going on this year. Yes to the new people. And no to the raid. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, damn. They're bringing in a battering ram. This is bad. Luckily, they're attacking our most heavily fortified position. Remember, welcome. Mm, I could sound the alarm. the damn wagon out of there. Oh, they're in the kill zone. They're in the kill zone. I need to send the troops out. To deal with that battering ram. I thought the thing would have died a while ago. Or just go back in the building, that's fine. We'll just rebuild it. I'd rather lose the tower than our troops. No, damn it. Oh, where are you guys going? Where are you going? Jerks. Away with all my gold? No. We put our gold in here. And we also spent a lot of it on that other foundry. Who's that? Is that a hunter? Oh, 
Oh, it's a soldier. Oh. They're still... Oh, let them go. It's fine. Oh, yeah. They dropped all the gold there. Wait, what? A, a party of 41 raiders are attacking. 56 of them were killed. I think it were actually 60... I think it was 60-something. Wow, we, we pre-killed raiders. We did so good, we, we actually killed not only the people raiding, but the, the people even thinking about it. We hunted them down. get a report oh dude they stole 165 arrows and seven bows to which we weren't using oh how are we going to recover i think in the time of that raid we probably made that many arrows and the bows i, I don't even need them <laughs> i can't sell them and i'm not going to use them Could it be that the raiders that survived the previous raid get added to the new one? That'd be cool. But I always feel like they're just different, like, raiding parties or, like, bandits. Eventually, it's like they do send military forces that hold you hostage, but... Yeah, the arrows that they stole were on... The, oh, that's true. That's true. The arrows they got away with were the, all the arrows that we shot at them and cross bolts and whatever else that were stuck in the top of the battering ram. <laughs> You're right. Like, they stole one sword that we stabbed somebody with. Chad, are we getting Comcasted? Stream, stream might uh, drop out for a second. One's in the chat if you're watching live. No. Internet behave. My connection must be maintained. Oh, good. All right. I'm still here then. I thought so. Another fire? Oh, it's like the damn Sims. Mashuno. Can you still not reclaim your stolen items from the raiders? I thought you could. I think if a raider picks up like a bunch of stuff and then you kill them, I think they'll drop it. But if they like leave the map with it, yeah, it's gone for good. Like you can't track them down like in those um, 
like in Taken, I will find you and I will get my one arrow back. How are we doing on these deaths and stuff? Let's take a look. So yearly report is... Burser 3... Now we're getting about about three people a year die from old age. Oh, we just got, you know, ten people moving in, so that's okay. Keep the farm at twenty-five. How's the barn? Did we get that done? Oh, it's underway. Yeah. Um, raiders spawn from the edge of the map. Oh, yeah, the wolf death. Yeah, I mean, raiders just come in from the edge of the map, but you can't really... I mean, it's usually north, south, east, west, and you can't really predict where precisely. But eventually you will be able to through the... Uh, raider camps and stuff. We'll see how that works. No polls today? We could We could do a poll. If a villager dies from a wolf attack, does that count as a natural cause? I think it says animal attack or wild or something. Uh, let's see. There's a a animal attack there. Then the starvation, exposure, natural cause like old age, disease, emigration, combat. So people can either come from being born here or from immigrating and then everything else is... Dying to death. Uh, all right. Yeah, I see the stream is being a little weird. I'll uh, make some changes real quick so everybody can watch. Without too much hassle. A hot day. Internet's being a little... I just noticed it suddenly. Let's do... Make a little change. And we'll try... Something like that. There. Cool. Yeah, dying in this game is the leading cause of death, so if someone dies, it's usually pretty permanent. Well, the dino nuggets are kept inside the fortress. But notice how the enemy attacked the gate, so what we probably could do is build like a gate within the gate, but... Because they went in, because they broke that gate, all those towers were firing at them. When we upgrade again, it's going to be fantastic.
All right. Standing by. Hundred and twenty six planks to go. Uh, the red and gold blips. Uh, the red above buildings means that they're missing something. Or there might be a problem with a building, maybe. And the gold means that a building can be upgraded. So like this one here is just telling me that we lost 250 flax because it just spoiled. You think it's YouTube? Mm. Now, my internet's being weird. We usually stream at about 9,000 or more KBS. I lowered it to 7. Now I've lowered it to 5. Alright, we got 309 people in the city. Oh, and they're upgrading their uh, houses. Oh yeah, we were going to build a big O decoration here. Um, I think we'd just go with another large park. Flatten that out a little bit. 
More spices needed, yeah. I'll give the stream maybe another uh, five minutes or so, but it looks like, I don't know, we're having some sort of connectivity issue that is weird. But worst case scenario, it'll be okay. And we have another video planned in just a little bit anyway. We'll be all right. A statue there. Let's move some things around. I think what I'll do is move the well there, uh, move the theater here, put a statue next to the theater at the bottom, and then add some small decorations around there. Okay, we'll see if the connect... I'm just monitoring connectivity. It's kind of a round. Yeah, I'm just checking on which condition my condition was in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, not a single thing I really want to buy or sell.
All right, one in the chat if you're watching live. One in the chat if things are good. And one in the chat if you haven't put a one in the chat. Oh, there's a lot, a lot of ones in the chat. Interesting. So I, I feel like half of YouTube must have went down or something. Like half of chat was saying the stream was down, the other half was like no issues at all. And for me, it's like I'm getting a little connectivity issue. But with so many people saying they didn't have a problem, it's like it must, it must be me sending it to YouTube. That's the problem, not or them receiving it, not not me, but them. Maybe. Oh, I built the wall too close. That's better. How do we know? No, it's not pre-recorded. How wait? How do we know? It's not uh, the Matrix. Yeah. this I think okay I think I think we might be all right yeah I'll, I'll keep it where it's at. Sorry if it's a little blurry, but uh, it's all right. Wait, are we still making clay? Oh, I know why. No, we're good. We're good. Get some more pottery going. Yeah, I think the trade needs to be upgraded, too. I, I don't like the fact that it's stuck at, like, uh, two people. It, it takes way too long to get stuff to the, to the area. All right. 
Well, Chad, I want to go a little bit longer, but uh, I don't know. YouTube's being weird, so here's what we're going to do instead. Uh, we'll come back to this one tomorrow, and me and She Fox will be back with some Anno 1800 in about uh, 45 minutes uh, or so. Or, no, around an hour and a half. Hour and 45 minutes. But I'm going to drop a new video for a new game on the channel, and I'm going to send you all there live, and hopefully uh, YouTube slash my connection would be a bit. I'm not sure what's going on, so we'll see. But anyway, that's all right. Just ending a little shorter than usual. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the new YouTube premiere going live. You guys will be amongst the first ones, hopefully, to see it on the channel. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you with more Farthest Frontier very soon. All right, enjoy the new video, and we'll see you back in a little bit for more city building in Anno 1800. If you like this game, Anno's coming up next. It's going to be multiplayer. It's going to be awesome. Let's go!